my name's Natasha, you're watching Something About Movies, and today is Canada Day. So in keeping on with the theme of this channel, let's talk about some of my favorite Canadian movies. Okay, so the first one I want to talk about is a movie that came out in 2003 called Nothing. It was filmed and set in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, and it was directed by Canadian Vincenzo Natale and stars Canadians Andrew Miller and I forgot his name. David Hewlett. So Nothing is about these two best friends who live together. One of them is pretty much a loser who works a dead-end job and the other one is a shut-in who works as a travel agent from their home. And there's a series of events that occurs that just um, overwhelms them and just makes them feel like things can't get any worse and once it reaches a breaking point it turns out that everything around their house just disappears and there's nothing there but the house and them in it. It's a really interesting premise and this movie takes it so much deeper than that. Uh, it's really funny and kind of creepy at some times. Uh, there are even some pretty intense moments where you're not really sure what's gonna happen but overall I thought it was a really funny movie and just kind of one of those quirky weird movies that you're not really sure what you're watching until the end of it but in a good way. I really like Andrew Miller in this. He's really good at playing uh, neurotic, awkward characters and you can really see this uh, as he's the one who plays the shut-in. Yeah, it's just a really fun and quirky movie that's definitely worth a watch. So the next one I want to talk about is a film called Cube. It came out in 1997 and again it was directed by Vincenzo Natale, again filmed in Toronto, Canada. Cube takes on a completely different tone from nothing. It's dark and definitely sci-fi. I would call it a thriller. It's about a man who wakes up in a cube-shaped room and there are six hatches, one door on each side of the room. And as he starts to explore, he realizes that each hatch connects to another room that is pretty much identical uh, to the one he started in except for color. And it turns out that these rooms are all booby-trapped in a very deadly way. And as the movie goes on, he finds other people who are trapped in this cube with him. And they pretty much just have to try and get out without being killed. The entire cast was great, and I think that they really were the ones who managed to make this movie something special. It's a story that examines people at their worst, at their most desperate, and it can be really intense at times, so it's a really good watch. Alright, and the last movie I want to talk about is the most recent one of the three. It's called Hank and Mike, and it's probably one of my favorite comedies ever. This one was directed by Mathieu Kling and was written by Paolo Mancini and Thomas Michael, who also star in the movie as Hank and Mike. Hank and Mike is about two Easter bunnies who get fired from their job, and in order to keep making a living, they try a bunch of different jobs. The problem is they've been Easter bunnies their whole lives, so it's a bit of a challenge for them. Hank and Mike is darkly hilarious, and Chris Klein, who plays the bad guy in this movie, plays the corporate douchebag really well. And it's just really funny, and I really can't do it justice talking about it, so I'm going to put a link to the trailer. I'm going to put a link to the trailer for all these movies um, somewhere, description, video, and I hope you check it out. But those are some of my favorite Canadian movies. If you've seen any of these movies, let me know what you thought in the comments or video response, but also let me know about other Canadian movies that you really liked. But until next time, you've just watched something about movies and happy Canada Day!